Hi everybody, Dangerous Minds. Another presentation for you. A uh, bit of a crossover with formats. Hope you enjoy it. This is her third face-to-face -face interview with various detectives. Agent Kobach tells her to introduce herself to an empty room and walks out, so we don't get a date or time. So I looked it up in the transcripts and it's the 23rd of August 2018 and it's at the Colorado Bureau of Investigation office in Lakewood, Colorado. Miss Kessinger and Kevin Kobach. My hair is good. Okay. Alright, I'll be right back, alright? I'm just going to get Tammy so she can introduce herself, alright? Okay. Be right back. So here she's unzipping her bag and getting out all her papers. No doubt we're in for a treat. You alright? Yeah. These rooms are recorded. Okay. So anything you say in here is subject to recording, just so you know. Okay. And you said on your text that you might have remembered some more stuff. Yeah. So let's do your phones first. Um, I need to... They gave me a piece of paper to transfer my contacts. Wouldn't do it for me, but... You should be able to just put them on the iCloud. I don't know. So strange. Or any of them from Chris? Yeah, a few, but not many. It's pretty short. There's like 10 or 12, and there's like a few from those days, but most of it is... Hi! Hello. Thank you. Yes. Come in, Nice to meet you. Yeah, I'm Stacey Galbraith. Nice to meet you. Meet you. How are you doing? All right. Getting through it? Trying. Yeah. Stressing out. Stressing out. Yeah, you look stressed out. <laughs> Did you get some therapy figured out? I'm waiting for you guys to get back to me on that. But I'm trying. Yeah, right. She looks stressed out. She's lolling back in her chair. She's quite comfortable. She's in total control of everything. And... She looks stressed out. Right. Okay. Whatever. I had to write a letter yesterday <clears throat> for Weld County to approve uh, to pay for her treatment. Oh. And yeah, it's got to go through a board because it's kind of unusual. Okay. So it's, when you go through the text messages, Tammy and probably Stacy will be there. I so I need to just deal with that. Like, if you're going to help me get all of my contacts from this long. So the I can get a tech guy for me to help. Okay. So you're gonna you want to move contacts from there to there. That's all I want to do. Once you guys do that, then you guys can have this phone. So I think I need to connect to Wi-Fi, and then I need to download this app, and then I think once I download it, I can sync it up. So let me get a guy who knows about Wi-Fi. But when she linked her accounts, a bunch of messages between her and Chris were recovered on her new phone. Oh, okay. So now everybody leaves her alone. She keeps herself occupied. She does a few stress release noises and then a few more minutes in she starts talking to herself she makes out that's exasperation at the phone but i think it's more out of being left alone and we pick it up when kobach returns all right Tech guys, tech guys coming to help us. I just, I would do it myself, but it's like there's so many different, no, I haven't used this phone in years. Okay. And like right now, my So it's not phone. very new? This is old. Okay. I haven't used this since like 2016. Like, so he's going to come over and turn your Wi-Fi on and figure out how to move. Oh, he's, he knows okay. I'm about this. That. I give up. So your phone this time... Do you have any objections to us looking at everything in your phone? Why do you even need that? I'm just curious. Well, because it's easier to get. It. It's easier it's for them to just take number, everything. Right? Well, is there anything in those texts that you'd be concerned with? Not really. Well, not really or yes or no? No, I mean, like, I the other day, my dad and I decided to do some damage control because a lot of people were saying I pretty much just said, if mediators contact you, tell them no comment. It's like, please be nice to them. Do not need to talk to them, but I was getting all sorts of texts from people that were like, Media's trying to contact me, I don't know what to do. I didn't tell them that I 
was a witness. I didn't tell them anything about that. It was just like, just say no comment. I need you to do this. Okay. A couple of my like super, super close friends, I asked them if they would be courteous enough to take all the pictures that we had of each other off Facebook. A couple of really close friends. Is there any text messages between you and friends that reference anything that would be concerning regarding this case? No. Like talking about Chris? I think you've told me that you've never even really talked with my friends about him. No, and like my friend's dad died last night, like yesterday. I'm not worried about that. No, I know, but she started like, oh my god, she was really drunk last night. She started like freaking out. She's like, I don't know what's going on in your life. She's like, I don't know if it pertains to this case. And she like just sent me like a screenshot of a news article of that case, and she was just like. She's like, what about conversation? I, I didn't mention that it had anything to do with that. She's like, I don't know if that's what it is. He works in the dark ghost. She's like, I really don't give a shit. She's like, I just really need you to be here with me and my dad and this and this and this. And she was just kind of upset because I had asked her um, to please say no comments to the media. And it happened to be like right when her dad died. And I think she was feeling a little like... Yeah, but I mean, you guys can read this. There's nothing in there of me actually saying anything about it. I there was a conversation that I asked you about between you and Charlotte, too. That's the same girl. That same girl who was freaking out. Yeah. So, was there ever a conversation about kids with you and Charlotte? Like, you... Hanging out with a guy who had... So, your lived. conversation about him having kids, how did that go? I mean, I don't know. I just told her... Uh, is it still... Kids. Did you yeah, delete yeah, that, yeah, or is no, it still... No, 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 I don't know. I, I have no reason to delete anything else on my phone. The okay. only reason I deleted all this stuff with Chris is because he was making me feel really uncomfortable and I didn't want to see it in my phone anymore. Okay. Um, yeah. We talked about this before, but we didn't talk about the specific context of what that message said regarding the children. So obviously, in the situation that we're looking at now with uh, the death of two children and all the other circumstantial stuff going around in the case, it, you, I just want to make sure there was no comments ever made by you regarding, you know, children or dislike of children or love of children. Either way, you, you know what I mean? Oh yeah, I guess. Let me find it. Uh, I think it's where this starts. I mean, you guys can just take whatever you want out there. So, it, it's easier for me to just take everything than it is to single it out. Plus, for the purposes of this case, you drew concern from me when you told me you deleted everything from Chris. I've already told you that. So if there's anything else that ever comes up, I have it, and then we can just discuss it. She starts right there. She starts talking about her and her fiance. So that was like weeks ago. And she hasn't brought it up since really, or like connected the dots. And I don't know when that was. That was definitely when things were going good. So this is like weeks prior, I'm just assuming. I think the day is at the top of whenever we started texting that day. Okay. Looks, this is... We talk a lot. August 7th. Yeah. So... I re reference everything to Sunday the 12th. So that's the only conversation like that on there, I believe, on my phone. I don't think there's like anything else. And she even last night like still wasn't even, she's so worried about it. End up sounding um, really short at the very beginning of it because um, I've cleaned it up so there is like absolutely no background noise. Okay, I'm gonna try one more thing. Oops. <clears throat> okay, here we go again. And I did normalization on it, and I still hear some of those are dead, or she's scared of my dad. I hope this helps.
other than that, there shouldn't really be anything on with other people. But you guys can just pull everything off that corner. As long as you're okay with that, that's what would be I mean, if that makes right? your life easier. Well, it's not just about making it easier, it's just less. So if there's any question, because somebody else was the one who told me about Charlotte. I'm assuming that that's yeah. what that is, because I said his name. And I don't even think she's put two and two together, because last night it was just like the way she was talking. She wasn't like, this is him, this is it. She was like, I don't know what's going on. I just assume this is it, because this guy looked at Anna Darko, but she's not even like processing. What do you mean by can tell he has a lot to take care of in life? What did you mean when you said that? He has a mortgage and he has kids. Okay. Responsibilities. I mean, he's a father of a house. You're even saying in here he's all about his kids. Yeah. And she was like asking me somewhere in there, like, I mean, everything I had to say about him at that point was like really positive. Like, I think I made it clear that I wasn't, like, 100% sure this was, like, the man of my dreams and I was going to spend the rest of my life with him or anything, but I was enjoying the time that I was spending with him at that point. You're referencing that he has two kids and then <clears throat> you don't like that um, because you want to have that experience with somebody else? Is that what I just said yes. I wasn't sure if he was the one that I want to be with because he had already, like, done everything. Okay. Like, I was like, it would be really nice to kind of, like, have kids and have my own marriage and all of that stuff. But that was never anything I conveyed to him. So she said, you said he's handsome, huh? Did you send her a picture? Mm-hmm. And that's not attached here? Mm-hmm. Is that because what you did, do you think, from what you deleted? I think it's from when I deleted all my photos. <laughs> and she so brought it up again last night, but she didn't Brought like, up what? Case, but she didn't like connect the dots. She was like freaking out when her dad just died. And she was really was upset. A... She wanted me to come see her on Saturday because it's his wedding. So unexpected. Kind of, sort of. Mm-hmm. He had Parkinson's. So kind of, but not. You know what I'm saying? It was a very drawn out thing. Um, but she's having a really hard time with it. I knew she would. And she just like. She's like, can you be at the wake on Saturday? And I was like, I'm going to go to leave the house. And I didn't tell her that, but I was like, I don't know. I'm, I'll try. And I'm going to go, but I'm not going to tell her until it's like right before I have to be there. And she so what did she reference that? Just is the Chris the guy? I'm, I'm more interested No, she in... didn't even ask me if she was just like, she's like, I don't know what's going on. She's like, oh, you can see it. <laughs> oh, okay. you. So oh, you mentioned my. on your text before you were coming that there was other information that you thought of that was important again? Yeah. You want to you talk? Know, get so <laughs> sidetracked. <laughs> I'll look at this when you do that. And then... I'll show you where it is. Yeah, show me where it is. Here. Like, I'll just say... You guys talk a lot. Oh, yeah. She is like not right here. So first she sends me this, and she's not even asking me about him. She's saying he, he looks like her ex. That's when she first brings him up. She doesn't even mention me at that point. I don't even think she realizes it's the same guy, like legitimately. I think this girl is so wrapped up in all the stuff that she's got going on right now that I don't think it's even processing. I mean, you can just tell by the way that she like, See, you know, she's all upset because I asked her to mm-hmm. not talk to the media and it happened to be the day that her dad died and I'm sitting here trying to comfort her. Is this your best friend? Yes. This girl is like my whole world. But you're not talking about children or your relationship with Chris or anything like that? No, the only time I ever mentioned him was like that one day. Okay. And I didn't even remember that I even had like said that to her because I just... What's her phone number? Um, so I'm not going to call her, but at some point you might want to talk to her, just so you know. I mean, sooner or later she's going to connect the dots or you're going to tell her, right, if she's your best friend.
I'm not going to tell her. If she figures it out, she figures it out. Okay. Um, if we were going to talk to her, I'd let you know beforehand. Is that fair? Yeah, just so I can give her a heads up. Yep. And she apologized to me because she was being kind of crazy. Like, <laughs> she was. So tell me about she the was. new info that you remember. Okay. Um, see right here. Hold on. She said, look, man, I know you work at Anadarko. He did, too. I know he murdered his wife and kids. I know he was a dog. I know you're my best friend. I know you have a good heart. I know that you got it. that guy needs to go to jail, and he will. I know you don't want publicity, and neither would I. I know that as a witness, if you say anything, it can cause a mistrial. I know you don't want that, neither do I. Fuck the media. I want my best friend here. I never fucking said anything to her about a trial. Okay. So, but see, look, she, she just, goes, she goes, I don't even care if you flirted with him or more. I know you had nothing to do with what happened, and I don't care if your job is having an open investigation. I'm not going to ask you a single question, but my pops died, and you're my best friend. Okay. And I said, please stop talking about that. And she said, what, are you on house arrest? And she just keeps saying, my father died. What the fuck? She was not okay last night, and I was just trying to, like, Understandable. mitigate this. Um and I was like trying to calm her down and I said Charlotte I'm trying so hard to be the best friend I can to you right now I said I want to talk to you about that case I didn't say the case I said that case like I wasn't even affiliated with it at all and you need to respect that I'm here for you regarding your dad and you know this and then she's but what's freaking right? out and freaking you out you guys never had a conversation except for this past text messages about Chris and his children. No, that was it. Okay. That was it. That's fine. I mean, because he wasn't really something that I, like, super wanted everybody to know about, and I shouldn't have even mentioned it when she brought up what she had, like, going on sexually with her fiancé, and it it happened, but at that point... You guys are best I, friends, it's understandable. Yeah, see, and she keeps trying to talk about it. She says, if you're not under investigation by the police, I don't care. Why can't you attend your so-called best friend's father's death? It doesn't make sense to me. And all I told her was stop. And then she she just like, yeah, and she just is like freaking out. And finally, I just told her, you know, getting mad at me isn't gonna bring your dad back. And that is when she chilled. Okay. Well, she kind of went on another rant, but I had nothing to do with Chris. And then she apologized to me this morning for being drunk and sad and hungry after dad died. What other new information? 